Big Al, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Another day at ICS. I have uh, Suman's car here, which is ready to be delivered to a new owner. I'm kind of sad to see Suman uh, selling his car, but he wants to move on to Porsche. It's a beautiful wind turbo that we're working on for quite some time. Almost ready for a tuning. Beautiful, huh? You like you like the uh, twin turbo? Uh, they actually came here to personally visit us. The guys from Race in Japan. Uh, nice, nice white, perfect, huh? Not a scratch on them. I put it in. Nice tires too, huh? Yes, sir. Yokohama, Niova. Those are some of my favorite. And of course, we have the uh, Dino Flash Evo and STI. I it's just broke nice. another half, sh another half shaft. But they're both operational. Just waiting for my new half shaft to come in. We have the uh, ICS twin turbo M Coupe that was just retuned with Aquamist, making about 600 to the tire of pump gas. And uh, here we have a happy young man. How are you, sir? This guy's a genius. Thank you. Make things happen. Well, your car's running better, right? Hope the dial will flash, baby. You're gonna be. Thank you. Thank you. Hopefully, this time when you leave. Things yeah, will go a little like smoother. <laughs> See you on the tracks. You had a little, nice uh, a little. Your car was so fast the last time that you drove right off the road, eh? Yes, sir. Well, Second you know again. what? It looks as good as new, man. It's beautiful, no? Yeah. But uh, you chose a turbo that's not my favorite. It's the ATP style turbo. That's direct stock replacement GT35. Uh, it's not quite as potent as a regular GT35, but we're trying to make some power with it. Uh, running it on pump gas. There it is. It sits in the stock location, so it's a little handicap. We have a stock uh, intake manifold, stock throttle body, engine upper intercooler pipe, H gas, 272 cams, right? That's fine. It's still yeah, why don't you uh, roll the tape while I do a pull, man? Just no kind of capture the action. Which one? Let's hit the button right here, right? It's recording. It's recording. Just aim. Go. Oh. And talk 415 foot pong of talk. Tell you, Al Freeman is a genius. Uh, uh, to close to 500 on pump gas, but as I said, this turbo is a little handicapped when you compare it to the, the regular GT35. This back housing is designed to fit into the stock rotation, a little restrictive, it creates a back pressure. That, that doesn't allow the cylinder to fully evacuate, it creates some detonation when you try to push the boost too far. All right. We're gonna go for a second pull again. Let's see what happens. <coughs> Master Baldy, this car has a uh, stock location GT35R turbo that is mounted on the stock back housing by ATP Turbo. It's not the best choice, but I think it's gonna crack 500 horsepower right now. Let's see what it not does. bad on pump gas, huh? Do you mind recording the honors? All right. Thank you, bro. Thank you. Almost there. We'll, we'll get there. Man. All right. We're not going to give up. <laughs> Let's ask the customer what he wants to do. How are you feeling, my friend? I'm nervous. <laughs> are, are you happy there, or should we go for 500? Go for, go for fast and hit the 500. All right. 500 will be nice. 500 will be nice. We're going to pull it. Then we'll take it on the street, and we'll race a few guys and fine-tune it. That's right. <laughs> Thank you. Want to do it again? Yeah, we do the honors. All right. We're going to crack Let's, 500 for this guy. Four 
446. 511 and 446. What do you think? Perfect. Yeah? Can't complain. All right. Can't fucking genius. <laughs> Well, uh, another another happy customer. Now it's time to take the car on the road, fine tune it, make sure everything's perfect, and enjoy the uh, the car on the road and make sure that it's 100 uh, percent. My friend, yes, Mr. We're, Al. we're in no rush today. We're taking our time. We're taking our time because it's our project car. You ha no, but you have to drive this car and enjoy it for years to come. Oh, that's right. So I'm gonna uh, now uh, take the car on the road and check it thoroughly. Yes, sir. Log everything. Make sure the air fuels are good. And dial it on the street. Crash, baby, you'll be happy. We've allowed the the weather conditions to cool down. It's getting colder outside. We've been here uh, for several hours, right? Yes, sir. And we're gonna do some more pulls to make be sure patient. that the make do. We're making sure that the tune is perfect. I'm testing it under every possible condition in every way I can to make sure that it's absolutely the best it can be. You want to capture the uh, action? Yes, sir. No pressure whatsoever, no adjustment. Come in, zoom in on this. Nice and smooth. Nice and smooth all the way out. 502 horsepower. It's not bad considering it's a stock location turbo. Uh, Basically, very few mods on the car. It's a very streetable car. Now that we're done, let's uh, let's take it off the dyno and let's head out on the road. And we're going to test the car on the road, make sure that all the tuning parameters that we're seeing on the dyno are the same on the road. Make sure the air feels good. You going to the race this weekend with it? Uh, next two weeks out, we're going to be in um, English Town. Take it for a run and see what we're capable of doing. Should be uh, a very low 11 second or high 10 second car easily. Dino Flash baby all the way. Thank you for the business. Appreciate it, man. All right, man. Let me get them to take this fish off the car. I knew that I was going to do that. Yeah. The problem is with the 511, we just ran it a little. Sir. All right, but you, you realize that. Uh, you realize that it can it can uh, blow up the engine, right? It can, it can possibly. It yeah, can well, possibly. Hey, let us skip that then. <laughs> So Al, what do you think about this car right now? It's very nice. The, the, the this 35R is not as good as the as the. Uh, tell your friend to wait. He could go for a ride with you later. John, he said you could wait. Huh? That's John. John, everybody. <laughs> so listen, you want to test the two-step? I'm not responsible if it breaks. No, yeah, test we, it we, we, you're gonna test it. Or no? That's all, right? So I'm not I'm not responsible. Okay. All right. All right. Here we go. You ready? Gotta be higher, bro. Oh shit, I got methanol in the car. Ah, uh, no more launching. I got meth in the car. But it's gotta be higher. Higher, right? Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If you shoot on me, if you if you want to go fast at the track, then you have to launch the car because the, the the whole drag racing is the first 60 feet. I've been to the track recently and I broke two, three sets of half shafts on my Subaru. Every time I go, I break them in the first five feet. If you don't get a fast 60 foot, then you're not gonna go fast. So we got to test it to see if the two-step is high enough now for the car to launch with this big turbo. That's the only way. And if it breaks, you know what? Then it's going to break when you go to the track too. Because the track is stickier than the street. On, a, on the street, it should just spin. But it's working good. What do you think about that? <coughs> you talking the truth? No, but do you, do, you, do you agree or you don't agree? I agree. All right. Well, we'll see. We'll see what happens, man. I mean, there's not much we can do except test. That's all we're doing. This is a simulated drag racing launch. Hold on. <coughs> this road brings back a lot of bad memories for you, right? Yes, sir. All right. All right, we're going to test drag racing again. I'm not dropping the clutch. We're just feathering it up, but we got to get it up on a boost so that the car can take off. Perfect. Perfect. See? Yep. See what I'm talking about? That was nice and smooth, right? Yes, sir. But we had to adjust the two-step a little bit because with the first setting we had, it was a little too low. And we had to get it up a little higher. Now the car is an animal, man. It's very... Uh, Responsive. 